Hey, Chef Kyle and Chef Jason here. We're at the Steam Suite. We're gonna show you some of the Crown Series as well as some of the FireX products we have on this line. Today, uh, we're gonna be going through the GS30 uh, Tilt Skillet by Crown. So we have our salmon prepped and ready to go. Yeah, let's get some salmon in there and sear it off. All right. Not only are you able to sear, but even if you had something like a shank and you were going to braise it, you can easily sear it. Yep. Add in the, add in your mirepoix, add in whatever vegetables you wanted to, your liquid. Cut it down to low, use it as, as a braising pan at that point. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any flat top can give you those same exact results. I mean, as you can see, caramelized all the way across the board, a good sear. Yeah, very uniform from corner to corner. Now, we need to get the rest of our components for our meal ready. So, if you'll see right here, we have the crown cabinet style steamer. So, we've got some rice finishing in here, which took about 22 minutes. And we've got some asparagus finishing in here for our, our salmon. All right, so about four minutes for our asparagus. Jason here is the absolute master when it comes to Fire X, and he's gonna walk us through not only how to do a perfectly braised pork, but a really, really great chicken curry out of this as well. Time to add our mirepoix. stock. All right, so our last prompt is to pressurize the cavity. So we're gonna go ahead and close our lid. All right, so we have our pork butts going. Now let's go ahead and go over to the coochie mix here. This is indeed the Fire X coochie mix. And we're gonna make a little chicken curry in here today. I'm gonna add a little oil. Adding in the mirepoix there. This is fully automated. So this is even gonna control all of our stirring for every step within our customized recipe. Chicken phase. All right, so now we're gonna add the stock. Our pork just finished with the pressurized cycle. Really buttery cooked. I mean, falling apart. That was an hour and 20 minutes. So we're just gonna turn off our curry here. All right, now we're gonna bring it over here. Got a little finish on it. Just a little EVO, some scallions, and a little bit of yogurt. 